Good day everyone, our topic for today is hoop tension. Hoop tension or hoop stress is the circumferential force per unit area or PSI in the pipe wall due to internal pressure. It can be explained as the largest tensile stress in a supported pipe carrying a fluid under pressure. Trenchless methods are used to replace pipes that have failed or correct system issues such as clogs or blockages that impede internal flow. Considering this figure, we can see that T and D are acting on different directions. Summation of horizontal forces equals to zero, where 2T equals PD, simplifying terms, T equals PD over 2, where P equals pressure or unit weight times height, or H equals height of water, D equals the diameter, and T equals tension force. Now considering the thickness of the wall, S equals PD over 2T. T or tensile stress equals AS times S, where T equals T times 1 times S. But since T equals PD over 2, S equals PD over 2T, where S equals tensile stress, P equals unit force, T equals thickness, and D is the inside diameter. Now, let's jump right into the example. For example, Compute the wall stress in a 1.2 meter diameter of steel pipe, 6 mm thick under a head of 120 meters of oil, having a specific gravity of 0.82. Now, take note of the given variables, which are D equal to 1.2 meters, thickness T is equal to 0.06 in meters, head of 120 meters and specific gravity of the oil which is 0.82 so before going to the proper solution of the example let us first consider a 1 meter height of your pipe or the container we know that our working formula is 2t is equal to force we have 2t is equal to force, which is equal to t times t times s. Simplifying terms, we get t is equal to td times 1 assumption of the height of the pipe over 2. rt is equal to st times the thickness times the assumption of 1 meter. Stress with respect to the thickness of the wall is equal to PD over 2. So we got the formula S1 is equal to PD over 2T. Now solving for the pressure which is equal to the unit weight of the water times the height. We have unit weight of the water which is 9.81 times 0.82, the specific gravity of the oil is the head of 120. So we got the answer of 965.30 ppa. Now we can get the value of S, which is equal to 965.30 times the diameter of 1.2 all over the 2 times 0.06 of the thickness of the wall. So we can get the value of 96.5 TPA.